Well, that's another record breaker in the books. Four of the books? Hi, Internet. I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and this is Ratho. The Words of Radiance Leatherbound Not Kickstarter is done! Kinda. Unlike Kickstarter, with Backer Kit, it ain't over when it's over. If there's a new backer within 10 minutes of the last one, that 10 minute timer gets reset and the backer train continues. This campaign went 33 hours and 23 minutes past the official end time, which means for almost a day and a half, there was at least one new backer every 10 minutes. If it went down to the wire every time, that would be just 200 additional people. But I rarely saw that timer go under 8 minutes. Usually it didn't hit 9. However, at the scheduled time it was supposed to end, they were at about $23,185,000, with 98,500 backers. 33 hours later, $23,756,818, with 102,089 total backers. That's an extra 580,000 from 3,500 people. Dragonsteel has 146,000 followers on BackerKit, so not even every follower pledged. Huh. If this was on Kickstarter, it would be the number two most funded campaign of all time, behind only the Year of Sanderson Record Breaker. That's not getting beat anytime soon. And technically, it ain't done! After the official end of a campaign, BackerKit opens a pre-order store. So if you somehow missed it, you still have the rest of this month to get basically anything from the original tiers. Except the Way of Kings Leatherbound, because they ran out. Almost 9,000. More numbers. Out of the 74,000 people who voted, over 20,000 of you want to be Kaladin. We can't possibly all be Donatello. With almost 3,500 individual Sill plushies purchased. Number two was surprisingly Truth Watchers at 11,000, though 1,800 people wanted to cuddle a cryptic. No mating! Bottom of the pack was the Dustbringers, just over 2,000, and only 133 individual Ash Spren. Stone Wards won the trivia challenge, then Truth Watchers and Elsa callers, with Will Shapers not quite making it to the podium. The order with the most members, the Windrunners, actually did the worst. Interestingly, Dustbringers took fifth, so it wasn't totally a numbers game. The most popular tier was the $50 secret project box, with almost 34,000 backers. Next, the 325 single order pack, with around 237. 10,500 folks got the everythings, and I managed to be one of the 4,900 getting the numbered edition. Refresh. Refresh. Refresh! Fulfillment for the highest five tiers, plus all the add-ons, will begin this fall. Everything minus the secret project stuff, which should start shipping next year around June or July. If you only got the secret project, you'll need to wait until next year. If you got anything else, that anything else should get to you by Christmas or earlier. Quick note, you won't get sent your survey until you've paid in full. So all of us installment plan folk will be filling that out in four months. My understanding is there isn't an option to pay off early, so make sure you budget. Now, let's talk Isles of the Ember Dark. DRAGONS! I was recently on an episode of Shardcast, FINALLY, where we dug into the first three preview chapters Brandon dropped. But here's the basics of what we know. Fundamentally, it's an expansion of Six of the Dusk, the short story in Arcanum Unbounded. It sounds like the first two chapters will actually be Six of the Dusk as a sort of extended flashback sequence, with a few minor tweaks here and there. He's basically expanded it into its own sequel. The reading he did back during the Oathbringer release party is chapter three. Shard Gun! The prologue introduces Starling, niece of Hoyd's pal Frost, on the day of her first transformation into dragon form on Yolen. We won't get back to her until chapter 11, where we basically have the Cosmere version of Firefly going on. Lots of connections to lots of different worlds and stories and magic systems, all of which I will go into in its own different video. All of the beta readers I've talked to have said this is their favorite of all the secret projects. Obviously, it's been stewing in Sanderson's brain for a while, and I can't wait to read and find- WAIT! DRAGONSTEEL! Brandon's master's thesis, once only available in the BYU library, is now available to everyone! I assume they fixed all the typos and formatting issues, because there were a lot. You can download both the ebook and the audiobook on the BackerKit campaign page, as well as on the Dragonsteel Books website. I will have a review of it soon, but first, we're finally going to get my Cosmere Connection videos for Rhythm of War. There's going to be five. 
One for each part. So that will be our regularly scheduled programming for the next month. That's going to give me some time to work on some other projects as selected by my patrons. If you want to choose what videos I work on next, consider joining Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's Butt, and the brand new Moochie, as well as all these other delightful people on my Patreon. You'll also get to watch all five Rhythm of War Connections videos all at once if I can edit them fast enough. So hop on my Patreon, vote on a video, and I will read and find out. Also, I have a Discord. Tons of people joined my Discord after my last video because I mentioned I have a Discord. I have a Discord. Join my Discord. The end.